Hello and welcome to the Bullet P Show. I'm your host, Bullet P. Um, a few things that I want to bring up today, and that is this whole thing about the Mayweather and McGregor fight. Everyone's saying that it's a total mismatch. That um, what are they thinking? You know, they're out of their mind. People are going to be thinking like, you know what, this guy's crazy. Bullet P, you're crazy. How can you even be talking like this? But the fact of the matter is, it's not a mismatch fight. It's a fight that when you look into it, it is an exciting fight. You know, you can't, you can't just knock this fight because it's not two fighters from the boxing, um, the boxing ring. You got one person from the UFC who fights in the octagon, and you got Mayweather who's a boxing champ. You know, undefeated, 49 and 0. Um, yes, McGregor has got three losses, but they're all losses by submission. You know, he hasn't been knocked out. I don't think he can knock him out, you know. And, and for the people, you know, who think Mayweather's going to knock out McGregor, I think you lot of bonkers. I think you lot have lost, you know, you lot are crazy because that ain't happening, you know. And the last time Mayweather knocked someone out was in 1999. Apart from the Victor Ortiz, I'm not sorry. Victor Ortiz, that was a cheap shot. I don't consider that as a, a genuine knockout because, you know, my, my 10 year old daughter could have done that. Yeah? It's not that hard. Someone relaxes their body, you know, to give someone a hug and then you just give them a cheap shot. Nah, mate. Um, yeah, so basically, the last time he, he knocked someone out was in 1999, and that was a person by the name of Justin Juco. You know, since then he hasn't really, you know, Mayweather's a ta-da-da, run, ta-da-da, run, ta-da-da, run. That's all he does. You know, he does that ta-da-da, run. You know, it's one of his fights, but, you know, he hasn't been tested. Now, McGregor is going to put him through a lot of pain. I'll tell you that now. Like... McGregor's um, predicted that he's going to knock Mayweather out within the first four rounds. So anywhere between one and four. And that could be the first round, second round, the third round. By the fourth round, Mayweather's going to be KO'd on the floor. That's what he's predicted. Um, I think if May McGregor's got a chance, I think he will have to knock him out by the fourth round because as the rounds get on we ain't really seen and I've seen McGregor go five rounds yeah but it, it almost if you look at his fights it almost looks like you know getting to the fourth round and by the time he gets to the fifth round he looks like he's got a lot of energy so you never know he might have that he might need to go past that barrier of more rounds just to see so it will be interesting um, Mayweather's one of the best defensive boxers of all time you know 49 and oh you can't take things away from him I'm not discrediting Mayweather and saying that he's practically a pussy he's not a pussy but you can't walk into this fight thinking Conor McGregor's a walk in the park because he's not um, Mayweather he's 40 years old now his hands are brittle you know he's had a lot of injuries over the years to do with his hands you know and that's going to be a big factor in this fight you know it's going to it's going to it's going to show where Mayweather is really at 
you know, and, and if he does lose this fight, he is going to be, you know, well, I'm 40 years old, he's already making his excuses now, you know, I'm an older fighter now, I'm not the same fighter I was two years ago, you know, you know, if you're number one, that don't die, you're a boxer, come on, you know, but, um, 26th of August, this fight will take place at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, which is um, Mayweather's hometown. It is going to be a benefit for Mayweather because if it does go the full distance, 12 rounds, then I do see Mayweather winning on points. You know, that's they're not going to let McGregor, someone from the UFC, UFC debut fight, come and beat him on points. Um, so I'm not looking for a. Uh, uh, a full 12 rounds even though I am kind of because it will kind of push Conor McGregor to to um, his, his his limit in regards of rounds you know we've not seen him go past five rounds and bear in mind in the UFC each round is five minutes so in a boxing um, world it's three minutes per round um, yeah, they kind of equally matched in regards of their um, reach, I think. So, the, um, okay, so we've got both at the same height, which is five foot eight inches. Um, his reach. Sean, I think McGregor's got him on reach. He is a bigger guy all round, you know. McGregor is a you know quite a big guy compared to um, Mayweather, so he is going to have an advantage on on that aspect. Um, McGregor's twenty nine. He's young, yeah, he's young, but. He's young, he's 29, and he's fighting an experienced boxer. So, in theory, you know how all these critics are saying is that it should be a walk in the park for Mayweather, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, I don't think it's going to be that easy, but... We'll just have to wait and see. So, um, on that note, it's gonna have to wait till the 26th of August. Um, until next time, locked into the Bullet P Shop. Peace.